Uh, today, I would like to talk about uh, uh, your words to other people, particularly to your children. Okay. Uh, 1988, I wrote a book named Concrete Love. Many people, most common word in America, I love you, I love you. They just say, I love you. But in detail, they do not know how to love. One of the strong, powerful techniques to love is dialogue. As far as dialogue is concerned, listening, listening to others. More important than talking to others. Understand? Sure. But a lot of uh, experts uh, in language and behavior suggest uh, these certain items. Uh, today I would like to introduce 31 statements you should not say to others, particularly to your children, according to experts in language and behavior. Category 1. You should not say words that will hurt or damage your children's self-pride. First, are you a capable boy or a girl? And you call yourself a boy or a girl? Okay. Second, there you have failed again. Third, you are nothing. You are so useless. Category two, words that can kill their confidence. Fourth, how the heck old are you? Fifth, you are hopeless, impossible. Sixth, you are stupid, dumb. Seven, you cannot do it. You can try, but I know you are not capable. Eighth, you are stupid. Who do you take after? Category three, words will, which will destroy voluntary action of your children. Ninth, you are not capable of doing anything on your own, so just do as I say. Tenth, I'm right. You don't know anything about it. Number eleventh, those clothes look terrible on you. You look ridiculous. Number twelve, keep whining and I will stop feeding you. All are simple, simple things, okay. But most cases, we have a tendency to ignore. Category four, the words that will make them feel burdened. Thirteenth, you had better not fail. Fourteenth, you are the only son or daughter for mom and dad. Fifteenth, everything mom and daddy do is for you. Sixteenth, you are the center of my life. So naturally they feel burdened. Okay. Category five, words that will cause anxiety. Seventeenth, if you don't behave, I will abandon you. Uh, the, particularly this kind of conversation between mom and uh, maybe five, four, six years old children in the shopping mall, oftentimes, okay, playground. Oh, you don't listen to me, then I'll go alone, you stay here. Uh. Eighteenth, if you are not going to listen to me, just get out of my sight. Nineteenth, you are not my son or my daughter. Twentieth, I'm suffering a lot because of you. Category six, words that will diminish their creativity. Twenty-first, you will understand when you grow up. Twenty-second, don't ask me, I'm busy now. Oftentimes, uh, children want to speak to parents or brothers, sisters. Oftentimes, parents particularly, I'm busy now, some other time. No, we are not supposed to postpone. Right away, listen. Right away. 
22nd, don't ask me, I am busy now. 23rd, don't waste your time on such stupid things, just study. Number 24th, don't say such nonsense. Category 7, words which will make them become apathetic. What is 25th, what a surprise, you are actually studying. Uh -huh. Number 26, don't even look up a tree that you cannot climb. Let them try, let them try. Oftentimes the parents, don't go near the water. No, we should teach them how to swim. If you are afraid of your children maybe get drowned, instead of saying, don't go. Children, if you keep on saying, don't, 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 Without me, don't go in the street, don't ride the bike on the heavy street, something like that. Then, their confidence, future, in the future, they will cause trouble. Category 7. Oh, but, okay, what a surprise. You actually studying. Number 26, don't even look up a tree that you cannot climb. Number 27, acting like your children's performance is nothing, like it is garbage to you. Number 28, are you going to quit again before you finish category 8? Words which will make them feel inferior. 29th, your classmate Tom already accomplished the advanced math before you. Don't compare with other children. Number 30th, the next door boy, Bill, does well even without his parents' help. But I'm helping you all the time. How come you are a stupid dummy? 31st, last item. How come you are not as good as your friends? Okay. We must be careful. Our one word will cheer them up. One word will kill their ego. Okay. So please be careful. Be careful. Children always don't, don't, don't. Okay. You know, a uh, six-year-old boy, in his first, uh, what do you call the six boys, six year old children go to school? Preschool? No. Kindergarten. 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 First day of the kindergarten, Michael, he was asked by his teacher, What is your name? Michael says, My name is Michael Don't. <laughs> There's no such name like Don't. But his parents, particularly mommy, always said, Michael, don't, 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 don't. So they grow up this way. They break their ankle in the street. Oh, this is God's will. You fail business or whatever. Oh, this is God's will. You blame God too much. God wants you to get up in case you fall down. God wants you to be successful instead of failing you. Understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No matter what happens, you are responsible for your destiny. Remember that. Finally, I would like to ask you to honestly evaluate how you are doing as parents, elders, and teachers. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.